This is the Beyond the Box Dumbbell Workout. Before getting to the workout, check out the Instagram post for the warm-up. We want to make sure we do the warm-up and we get ready for the workout by increasing your heart rate and increasing your body temperature and you're starting to swell a little bit before we get into it. For today's strength portion, we're going to be working on the dumbbell push jerk. The dumbbell push jerk is a shoulder to overhead movement working on building up to a heavy three reps over seven sets. Now, we want the workout description describes this as being perfect three reps. What that means is we want to work on accuracy and consistency. Try and keep the movement the same across all seven sets and building on having good technique and hitting good positions. So the push jerk, weight starts on the shoulders. It is a dip drive and then dip under as you press the weight overhead, catching the weight overhead in a quarter squat position and then standing up. From the side view, what that's gonna look like, a dip drive. As I drive through the hips, the weight's gonna come off the shoulders and then I'm gonna punch myself or push myself under the dumbbells, under the weight to stand up. Wanna make sure that we stay stacked through here. See my arm is by my ears and then bring the weight back down. So let's look at that with the dumbbells. Let's look at that with weight. So I'm going to clean from the floor, get the dumbbell to my shoulders and it is a dip drive dip motion. So look like this. Notice when I bring the dumbbells to my shoulders, I am bending at the hips and knees, softening that catch, which sets me up to go into my next rep. A little bit of timing there, so that might be something we work on through those seven sets as well. From the side. In simplistic terms, we can, be, we can look at it as a jump and punch movement. That might be a little bit more aggressive with the hips and feet. That would look something more like this. So if I jump and punch, load like I'm going to jump, I'm going to explode through the hips and punch the weight overhead. I'm going to catch the same way in a very similar position that I take off from, and then I'm going to stand it up. So it'll look like this. Stand up. One more time. From the side, so you can see that explosion from the hips from the side. So over seven sets, work on building to a heavy three perfect reps, focus on accuracy and consistency of the push jerk. Remember, it is a dip, drive, dip. Keep the weight over the shoulders, avoid going out in front. Following the strength portion, we're gonna move into the Metcon Metcon. We have three five minute AMRAPs with three minutes of rest between each little workout. The movements that we're going to be doing in the first AMRAP and in the last AMRAP are going to be single arm push press and single arm devil's press. It's going to be five reps per side. Our X weight is 50 pounds for the men and 35 pounds for the ladies. So what that's going to look like with the, with the starting with the dumbbells at the, on the floor, you need to get the dumbbells from the floor to the shoulders for the push press shoulders so single arm push press where the push jerk is a dip drive dip the push press is just a dip and drive so dip drive and then press the weight overhead making sure that it is stacked over the shoulders and arm is by your ear bring the weight down soften that with the hips work should have worked on that in the strength portion with the push jerks so five reps there and then we're going to go to the floor devil's press chest and thighs touch the floor keep your hand on your dumbbell you're going to jump out of that like you would for a burpee swing the dumbbell between the legs and drive the weight up overhead you could also swing the dumbbell off to the side if that's more your preference so one more time getting the dumbbell overhead stacked over the shoulder you're going to do five reps per side make sure you do all movements on one side before you move to the other side you're going to do as many reps there as you can in five minutes. Rest for three minutes before going into five minutes of max burpees 
with a lateral hop over the dumbbell. So, burpee, just like the devil's press, is chest, thighs, touch the ground. Coming out of that, pop the hips, bring the feet forward, stand up. I like to bring my feet closer together so that I have a good jump or hop over my dumbbell. When I get to this side of the dumbbell, I'm gonna go into my burpee and then jump back over. You're gonna do as many of those burpees and lateral jumps over the dumbbell as you can in that five minutes. Make sure you record your number. Following that, we're gonna have three minutes of rest. We're gonna go into a second round of the five minute AMRAP of the single arm push press and single arm devil's press. Record those, hopefully, you will have recorded your numbers from the first time you went through it, and then try and beat that number or get as close to it and limit the gap or limit the drop off as much as you can. Your score is the total reps completed across all three five minute intervals. Remember the weight is 50 pounds for the men, 35 pounds for the ladies. Get after it and have fun.